Hello my lovelies! Hola! Marhaba! Uh, well today, as you can see, I have a very intense smoky eye. And it's actually more than a smoky eye. It's actually an Arabic inspired makeup tutorial. So I decided to go ahead and use um, this amazing trio by um, NYX Cosmetics, which you I'll show you right here. And it's in the colors Golden, Rust, and Walnut Bronze. So I thought the colors were just absolutely beautiful, and I've been using them as you can see. And they actually reminded me of a lot of Arabic makeup that I've seen in different music videos and stuff. Because yes, I do listen to Arabic music. So it inspired me to go ahead and create this look. And to add a little bit of fun factor and make it a little bit unique with my own little twist, I went ahead and added glitter to the look. So, um, it's amazing. I love it. So I know that it may be very intense for some of you guys, but you can actually go ahead and save it and use it during the night, or for a special event, or maybe even Halloween if it's still too much. But I'm kind of adventurous like that, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and wear it tonight. But, um, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Yalla! Let's go! Make sure by this point your face is ready to go, foundation, primer, etc. Take a synthetic brush and with a jumbo eye pencil by NYX, take the color Milk, which is a white color, and place that right on your eyebrow bone. So go ahead and place it with a synthetic brush carefully right underneath your eyebrow and then take one of the best tools invented yet, your fingers, and blend them in a downward motion just to highlight the area. Now take your Jumbo NYX pencil in the color Black Bean and we're going to use this as our base. So go ahead and place it right on your eyelid very carefully or smudgy. It doesn't really matter because you're going to blend it anyway. So just go ahead and apply a lot of the product um, right on the lid. doesn't matter what order it is as long as you go all the way up to the crease and really get every area of your lid filled up. So take your fingers once again and go ahead and blend. Make sure you're doing it in an up and out motion just so you get that crease very defined. Now we're going to go ahead and take our NYX eyeshadow trio and the colors are golden, rust, and walnut bronze. Beautiful palette. So to start off we're going to take our golden color which is a golden tone with a lot of shimmer to it and place that on your crease with a small eyeshadow brush and just blend it up going into your eyebrow bone. It doesn't matter if it gets on top of the white, just blend it very, very well. And place some of that gold color on your inner corner as well. Next up is a walnut bronze color, which is a sparkly, shimmery, taupe color with a little hint of purple, I guess. And we're going to place that on our crease right on top of the gold and um, blending it into the black. So really, really concentrated. And the trick to this look and, um, you know, to a really nice eyeshadow is basically just blending, blending, blending. So now take another blending brush and we're going to take the color Rust, which is a slightly gold burgundy color with little tones of purple and place that again on top top of the crease. Um, so we're layering it and we are blending it. Like I said, trick is blending. So just blend, 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 blend. So now once again, take your eyeshadow applicator and with the golden color, you're going to go ahead and replace that on your inner corner just to make sure it lights up your eyes and it opens them up. So now we're going to take our NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color French Fries, actually one of my favorites. And we're going to place that on top of our lid, on top of all the color that we place on it. Yes, I know it seems a bit weird, but trust me, it works. We're going to use this as an adhesive for our glitter that's up next. We're taking the glitter babies. So take your fingers, and with that, you're going to go ahead and place it carefully on top of the NYX Jumbo Pencil. It gives a little bit of shimmer and at the same time it acts as an adhesive so it's perfect. Place that on your lid. Now we're going to line. Use a liquid eyeliner preferably and mark the places that you will be ending and beginning your line on your inner and outer corner like a monster. I'm kidding. Okay so take a synthetic brush and we're going to line. I'm using a gel eyeliner because I feel that this works best on top of the glitter and all the colors that we packed onto our eyes. So go back to your liquid eyeliner and trace down on your lower lash line how the line will be on your inner and outer corner once again place a little tail going down just like Arabic style or Cleopatra style if you will go ahead and line your lower lash line with an eyeliner a pencil and or with a gel eyeliner as well so back to the shadow applicator take your golden 
and place that between the Arabic lines. Now it's lash time. I'm using mascara and applying some false eyelashes by NYX Cosmetics. They're very dramatic and very long just to complement the Arabic look as you can see. And so that is our finished eyes. I love them and I don't know why I keep playing with my hair but it keeps going onto my face and I just want you to see the makeup. I don't know what I just said. But um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so on to the lips. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Classic Round Lipstick in the color Pumpkin Pie, which is actually one of my all-time favorite lipsticks in the whole entire wide world. It's amazing. I love how it smells. I love the way it goes onto your lips, and it's just one of the best. I love it. Love, love, love it. Like a lot, really. You should try it. So that said, I try to make it as simple as I could for you guys to be able to follow it. Um, it's not too complicated as long as you pinpoint um, every inner and outer corner. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I love, love, love this look. It's very intense, very dramatic, but it's still super sexy and very much Arabic inspired. And the glitter just kind of like sparkles and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Maybe favorite if you really, really liked it. Um, leave your comments down below. You can also go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and, um, you know, leave me your feedback. Tell me what you guys want to see. If you have any requests for any more tutorials, please do let me know. Um, I do listen to what you guys have to say. And for those of you that actually speak Arabic, please pardon my pronunciation. I'm really trying. I'm actually starting to learn Arabic right now, so um, yeah, eventually I will get it. But for now, excuse my pronunciation if I mispronounce something. I love you guys. Thank you. Peace and love. Ciao, ciao.